Hi, my name is S. Rob. This is Magical Manifestations, where movies are made real. That's right, tonight I'm going to make a film real. The Curse of the Swamp Creature. That's right, this, so I'll do this so that people will actually see the film. The thing is, not everybody has the advantage of knowing that they should watch The Curse of the Swamp Creature. So what we're going to do here is I want to make it real. You'll notice there's a little sigil at the bottom of the screen, and that's partly how it is done. The other part is done through my immortal self, S. Robin Victus. But I thought I'd like to point something out here, and that is that what I do here is completely real. That's right, because I'm not a person pretending to be an occultist. I am an occultist. I actually wrote over 500 books in occultism under the name S. Rob, which is a shortening of my real name. You know, everything's real. Like, this crystal ball that I'm using is my crystal ball. It's not a prop, you know. It, it stands on a shelf in the, in the room that I'm filling me in. And I have it so I can use it when I need to. I'm going to do that tonight, you know. S. Robin Vick, that's who I summon to help to make the film real, is my immortal self. I created S. Robin Vick so that basically you can kill me, but there'll always be at least one of me alive. You know, he is me, he's my immortal self. Everything here is absolutely real, there's nothing that isn't. Everything's real, and I am really trying to make the film The Curse of the Swamp Creature real. I want people to see swamp creatures, and I want them to get a kick out of it. I want people to, to have a little bit of thrill in their life, and that's what I'm doing it for. But first, let's look into the crystal ball, see what I can see. Wisdom from the crystal ball, not uh, just see what I can see. I'm seeing a problem overcome. I see the problem won't be completely fulfilled, won't be completely solved the first time. But it will get solved, and in the doing it will be transformed. And you'll find you'll be able to extract positive things from this, positive things for the future. But now I'm going to make the film real. S. Robin Victus, you're the boundaries, you're the limit. I ask that you'll be here with me. S. Robin Victus is here. S. Robin Victus. I used to make the film The Curse of the Swamp Creature real. Let it be part of the world that I live in and that everybody lives in. And this is what I ask of you. So it is and will be. And now we go to The Curse of the Swamp Creature. I'm looking for my brother. I know he's here. Where is he? for your brother, then join your brother, feed him to the alligators. You seem to have forgotten that I want no visitors. No one must enter the swamp. Whoever attempts to enter the swamp, if they get by the quicksand, I want you to stop them. My work must be protected. Keep all strangers out of my swamp.
Hi, Frenchie. Scotch. Some weather. Yeah. Mr. West, this is Brenda Simmons. Nice to meet you, Mr. West. Call me Driscoll. You look lonely. Then you can cure that? I can try. Sometimes the cures are worse than the illness. <laughs> what brings you to this part of the world? Business. Just business. And uh, what business are you in? I'm the bookkeeper. I work in the motel office. I see. You look like a bookkeeper. I should have guessed. That's one thing about the oil business. What's that? You meet so many interesting people. I bet you did. I live. I have a place down the road. When I was driving in, I didn't see many places. Well, it's uh, off the road. Well, I think I'll call it a day. You ready for another drink, Mr. West? I believe not. I'll tell you what, this time it's on the house. Well, in that case. Where's all your business? Comes and goes with the fish. Right now, even the cats are gone. <laughs> it um, sure is nice to meet someone who's doing something besides fishing. I bet. What makes you think there's oil back up in the swamps? Did I say I thought there was oil back up in the swamps? No, not exactly. Will you excuse me, please? Sure. Uh... Trouble? It looks like Won't you? Man, you shouldn't have tried to get rough with me. I don't play games.
Come on over here, baby. I need your help. This slob tried to get rough. I knew Ricky was stupid, but not Ah, uh, dumb kid. I need your help, baby. Can I depend on you? You always do. What happened? He busted in here and tried to get tough. What do we do now? Well, we... We fix it so as it looks like he checked out. The swamps don't tell tales. Don't be any more stupid than you already are. Wallace can be identified. You're gonna call me stupid once too many times. Just do what she says, stupid. Now, there is one point. West was expecting a geologist, some guy named Rogers, who was going into the swamps with him. Man, that's trouble, <laughs> isn't it? Say hello to Mrs. West. Mrs. West? Sure, don't I look like Mrs. West? Yeah, you sure do. What do you mean? We have the maps, right? Right. Mr. West can't be here, right? Right. So he sent his wife. Hey, baby, that's thinking. We just play dumb and let Mr. Rogers find the oil. It'll work. Let's get going. Well, what about the body? Remember that stump cutter that they used to clean out the swamps with? Rabbit knows how to use that thing. Get Rabbit. And clue him in. I am now Mrs. West.
Want a room? Uh-huh. My name's Barry Rogers. I have a reservation. Oh, sure. Want to fill out this card? Uh, is there a Driscoll West registered here? I don't know. You can ask Frenchie when he gets back. Frenchie? Yeah, he runs the place. Oh. How about a drink? Fine. We'll take care of your luggage. Hi, my name's S. Rob, and I just thought I'd have a little bit of a look at the crystal ball again. Give me some wisdom, because let's be honest, the moment of filming, we're all stuck in this global pandemic, and we all need some wisdom, you know? Wisdom from the ether, so I'm having a quick look in here to help you. It's a really good thing to use a crystal ball, by the way, or if you prefer it, you don't have one, you can make a, a scrimer, just get a, a black cardboard, and put it inside a frame, that's the easiest way to do it, and then... Uh, you have to practice a lot and then you'll start having sort of visions from it, but don't do it a little bit at a time. But this is a crystal ball, another tool that I use. Okay, I see the joining of people is important. I see coupling, I see people getting together in twos. And see the life transforming, which means that I can see people's lives going back to normal after this. Maybe a new normal, but still normal. You know, the challenges we have now will not come to define who we are. They will just be a part of our lives. And now let's go back to the film, The Curse of the Swamp Creature. He's here. Miss Rogers? Right. I'm Frenchy. We were wondering when you'd get here. Just got in. Mrs. West was worried. Mrs. West? Right. Well, that's odd. <laughs> I agree. There ain't many women oil men. Is uh, Mr. West with her? No, guess he couldn't make it, so he sent the old lady and one of his helpers instead. Old lady, huh? Well, not old. Uh, kind of nice, if you want to know the truth. I wouldn't mind taking a camping trip with her. Well, this isn't exactly going to be a camping trip. Yeah, well, she wanted to get an early start. She got a boat and a guide all set. I'd like to see Mrs. West. Where is she? I think she's back in the office. You're in room 10. Your luggage is already in there. All right. Oh, Mrs. West, this is Mr. Rogers. Hello, Mr. Rogers. Nice to meet you, Mrs. West. Same here. I I was told Mr. West wouldn't be here. That's rather surprising. Mm, not really. He's very busy. Oh, I didn't get that impression. Well, he uh, sent one of his assistants. I just came along to watch. He tried to talk me out of it, but I wouldn't hear of it. Oh, this isn't going to be much fun for a woman. Mm, I'll manage. I'd like to get an early start in the morning, if that's all right with you. Fine. You're the boss. Not really. It's all in your hands. See you about six. Oh, uh, you do have the right clothes. Oh, sure. This has got to be the strangest job I've ever been on. <laughs> Where do you get in the swamps? See you in the morning. Keep your fingers crossed, baby. If we find that oil, we can clear out of this stinking trap. Yeah, well, don't count on it. Are you sure Richie doesn't know about us? As we both know, Richie doesn't know much of anything. We'll have to take care of him. See you in a few days. I'll make sure. Morning. Well, good morning. Barry, this is uh, Rabbit Sims, our guide, and uh, back there, uh, Richie. Hi, oh, nice to know you. I'll take you back. Thank you. Hungry? Am I? We can stop on the way and have our last meal with humanity. <laughs> Good. You 
get seconds on coffee while we do the work. Yeah. That's what a college education does for you. Just the same, I don't like the way she looks at him. Ah, keep your shirt on, lover boy. They'll be down soon enough. So how'd you get pulled in on all of this? Oh, Frenchie lined me up. Said there might be some easy money in it, but I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so either. You know, I never been up in the swamps. At least not as far as we're going. Well, I don't look forward to going into these swamps. I know too many that went in and never came out. Yeah, same here. <laughs> you know I'm all right till I have to get out of the boat. Well, if we come out of this with all of our marbles, we're going to be mighty lucky. You know, a couple of weeks ago, uh, one of the Creole boys told me that someone wanted him to take some supplies back up in the swamps. He was smart. He didn't do it. <laughs> I don't blame him either. Yeah. And you know, I've been hearing more and more that there's somebody been living up in the swamps. And I don't mean the native. So what? Huh? So nothing. It's all I'm saying is there's some mighty strange things been going on. Looks like it ought to get us there. Oh, yeah, it'll get us there, all right. Only trouble is, if we get out, we may not get back.
glad you questioned my work, Tom. If I hadn't questioned my teacher's work, I wouldn't be here today. Yes, sir. Man has to find the answers, right? Of course. But it gets to be... Well, sir, in med school, we used animals, but... The best study of man is man himself. It's as simple as that. Now, this isn't an ivory tower. Head back to your laboratory. I want to see your work tonight. I've had about enough. I'm the one who says when someone has had enough. Tom, I can see now this work is going to be too much for you. Somebody's coming here. Are you sure? Yes. They started into the swamp this morning. <laughs> Your drum idea has proved itself again. Incredible. I wonder what they're doing around here. Well, it's highly unlikely that they'll find my little retreat. But if they do, I must play the good host, mustn't I? <laughs> Well, this is as far as we can go by boat. From here on in, we do it the hard way. tell you that we may have some visitors. Simon, you're kidding. Hardly. Bao Jean told me this afternoon that some intruders have been spotted. Intruders? All right. Not intruders. Visitors. Oh, I hope they do come. I haven't seen anyone for such a long time. Marcy! Sit down. I want to talk to you. I know that you've been under a strain for a long time. I know that you don't understand or appreciate my work. But if we do have visitors, you mustn't let them know that we have problems. After all, what goes on here is my business and your business. Do we understand each other? Yes. Good. Doctor, I've mastered it. Look at that. I agree. That gill transplant is as fine as any I can do. Very good. Do you believe that we could do the gill transplant on other animals as well as we did it on the crocodiles? Possibly. Doctor, I was thinking, just the work that you've done with the crocodiles and taking them back along the evolutionary path and making them into fish would be enough to win you world acclaim. Yes, but acclaim, that's nothing. To create life, to move it at will up and down the evolutionary path. That's something. Something I don't think you quite appreciate, Tom. That's all for tonight, Tom. But... Good night. My voice is your master. 
get up. Get up. The world awaits you as my first citizen. Everything was functioning perfectly. What happened this time? I'm frightened. I can't sleep too good, and I think I hear snakes crawling. It's just your imagination, Mrs. West. But very. I'm not used to all this. I told you this was going to be a rough trip. But you could make it so much easier. I'll go back and get some rest, Mrs. West. Congestion. Acute congestion. Well, I can remedy that, my friend. The next time I will not fail.
go to the drums again. Uh, we should be there by now. Please be right. I can't go much further. Let's take another look at those maps, Rabbit. I can't keep the folks control much longer, Doctor. They're getting curious. Who are they? That is the last boy's father. He heard his son had been seen here. I couldn't stop him from coming. I'll talk to him. Val Jean tells me that you believe your son is here. The doctor would like to help you. Your son is not here. He has not been here. Do you understand? We have not seen your son yet. My son was seen here. We are poor, but not blind in the swamps. The boy is out to look for the boy. He's trouble. Is there something I can do for you, old man? My son is gone. I just want to see the man who brought evil to us. I pay you well to keep things like this from happening. Maybe I should get somebody else for the job. I do my best, Your I... best is not enough. I won't tolerate one more mistake. Get out of here. Leave me alone. You're going to listen to me. You killed Tom. Tom is not dead. Now you listen. Tom is not dead. He volunteered for the final experiment. 
Oh, that's a lie. He'd never volunteer for that. Who'd want to be turned into one of your pet monsters? Don't you ever say that. You've always been too young and too stupid to understand my work. No, not stupid. Just too wise to condone what you've done. I'm afraid, my dear, that you're going to put me in a very bad position. Then why don't you kill me right now? Kill you? I have no intention of killing you. instructing Tracker in the proper method of guarding. Will there be anything else, Doctor? No. That's all. Well, Tracker, you failed me again. One more slip up, and I'll have to dismiss you. Is that clear? I must ready myself. to science. Everyone has his place in the field of research. Tom? Tom, are you listening? Nod your head if you are. You're doing fine. Fine. You're strong. You can stay underwater indefinitely. You're almost bulletproof. I'm envious of you, Tom. Hmm? Are you hungry? How clumsy of me. 
Let me get you a snack. than he does me. We could both get away tonight. Oh, Tracker, please, please listen to me. Help me. Tracker. Well, Tracker. Glad to see you're still on the job. Those intruders are worrying me. Go and find them. I can't afford to have them snooping around here unless I know exactly where they are. Perhaps... Perhaps it would be best if you brought them here. Yes, sir. Well, darling, still using that vivid imagination of yours? Don't worry. Everything will be much better very soon. Very soon. say die. Obedience is the key to survival. Obedience is the key to survival. What is it? Good, Marcy. Have them wait in the living room. I'll be there in a moment. Hey, this is quite a layout. Would you believe it? Look at a crazy fan. 
Yeah, this is all right. What's a doctor doing way out here? Can't imagine, unless he's taking care of the natives around here. Dr. Livingston, I presume. Well, not quite. <laughs> Although sometimes I do feel like it. I'm Dr. Simon Trent. I'm Brenda West. Well, I seldom meet such beauty in the swamps. Why, thank you, Doctor. This is Barry Rogers, my geologist. Barry? Doctor? This is Richie. Richie? And that's Rabbit, our guide. It's a pleasure, Doc. Please sit down. Sit down. What a surprise. And a pleasant one. Marcy is bringing us some refreshments. Sounds wonderful. So what brings you to this forsaken area? Oh, don't misunderstand me. I love the swamps. They're my life. To be truthful, Doctor, we're looking for oil. Oil? That's it. Well, how can you look for oil without equipment? Seismographs, drilling equipment? Well, it's not easy. Actually, we're trying to find surface indications. Well, if there's any oil around here, I'd be very surprised. So are you a geologist, Barry? That's right. We have a great deal in common. You're looking for the result of the evolutionary process, and I'm investigating the evolution process. It isn't often that I have a chance to talk to someone of a scientific bent. You work here alone? For the most part. Well, my wife is with me, but... She's not well. She contracted a fever in the tropics, which she's never quite recovered from. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's nothing can be done? Nothing. Well, it's good to have company. I can't send you out into the swamps tonight. May I invite you to spend the night with us? We don't want to impose. Impose? <laughs> don't be silly. Now, we only have one guest room. That's for you, Brenda. And we can put some cots in here for the man. Well, anything's better than that cold, cold ground. <laughs> now, let me show you my pride and joy. An indoor shower. It's the only one for 50 miles. And I have my own little power plant. Come on, come on. The cistern on the roof is full. When you want a shower, pull the chain. It works. That's what counts. That's my wife's room. She walks in her sleep when the fever hits her, so I keep the door locked from the outside. Well, she could very easily wander into the swamps. Simon? Yes, dear. Yours with you? She's just finished her nap. We have company here. I'd like for you to meet them. We'll be in the living room. Why don't you dress for dinner? What are you working on? Are you familiar with the Oceana theory of evolution? Uh-huh. Seems to me it's uh, something about uh, uh, land life from the sea. That's the theory. Specifically, what makes it important in my mind is that it deals with the evolution of man from the reptiles. For example, sea creatures, simple land creatures, snake-like reptiles, alligator-like reptiles, the dinosaurs, and somewhere along the line, man. You mean man has not descended from the apes, but from snakes? Richie, that's it in a nutshell. I happen to believe in the basic theory. Swamps provide me with all the necessary forms of life to investigate. Alligators, snakes, fish, so forth. Good evening. You look lovely, darling. Thank you. This is Barry, Richie, Rabbit, gentlemen, my wife. How do you do? Mrs. West is taking her shower before dinner. Oh. If I seem like a poor hostess, it, it's just that I've forgotten. You see, we haven't had any visitors in over a year. 
Will you excuse me? I'll go see how Marcy's doing. You certainly have a lovely wife, Doctor. Yes. There she is. But I'm afraid she made a bad bargain when she married me. I've taken her to the farthest corners of the earth, the most remote places, and she suffered for it. If at times she seems to be preoccupied, you must excuse her. There they go again. right when we get out of here. Yeah, me too. I don't like it. Say, that old doctor sure got a fine-looking wife. <laughs> I noticed. I noticed you noticed. <laughs> well, guess who? What's up? Smoke? You work for the doctor? What's your job? Hey, you sure are a talkative fellow. What's all the drumming about? Say, man, what's all the drumming about? And there's something to be done. All the folks get together. They talk it over? They do more than talk it over. You ever heard of snake magic? No. These people worship snakes. They have this dance. What about it? That's all. What kind of dance? It's not my place to tell you about it. Let's go see. Can't do that. Why not? If they caught us, it would be bad. Well, I'll take the chance. You take the chance. Count me out. Wandering around out there at night. Come on, let's go see this snake dance.
What's that thing with the spears in it? That's your friend. What friend? The doctor. Dr. Trent? They killed him? Looks like it. What for? What's going on? Well, I'm about ready for bed. Didn't realize how tired I was. I suppose you want to get started early in the morning? Well, there's no use holding off the inevitable, Mrs. West. So early? Oh, but don't let me be selfish. I could keep you up all night. I just can't tell you how wonderful it is to have people around again. Can I get you anything before bed? No, nothing for me, thank you. I don't believe so. Good night, Barry. Good night, Mrs. West. Hope the drums don't keep you awake. Nothing could keep me awake. Barry, I've been wanting to talk to you. What can I do for you? I'm in trouble. My husband... My husband is insane. <laughs> now, Mrs. Trent. Please listen to me. I know that it seems like a wild accusation, but it's true. I find your story hard to believe. Hard to believe? Then why don't you go in there and see for yourself? Look, I can't just walk in there. If the doctor wants to take me in, all right. He'd never allow that. Things have gone too far already. Well, I, I don't see what I can do. After all, I, I can't interfere in his business. I hope she would help. There is no one else. Poor Tom. You believed in his work. This is your reward. you've done. You killed him. Better off dead. Always the meddler. No, no. Oh, no. No, Not no. Perhaps in there you won't cause trouble until I can deal with you. This is the evil one. See before you the evil doctor that has brought such shame and suffering to us. She did it, Tom. She turned off the preserver machine before you were ready. Everything was going beautifully. For the first time, everything was controlled. Live, Tom. Live. Breathe. 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 Richie! Richie! Finished. You've succeeded. He's dead. You mean it's dead.
perfect subject for the new derivatives. My dear Mrs. West, I believe you will be an instantaneous transmutation. Take the symbol of our people, of our land. The evil spirit of the doctor is now afraid. Our strong magic will destroy. You must become the instrument of revenge. Go, do what you will. You are protected. Go, go. work to do now. Stay away from the river and watch out for the quicksand. Yeah. I have a little work in mind too. been watching you dance. Be good, baby. There's nobody here but us chickens.
Get up. Get up. Hear me, my enemies are here. Get up. Obey me. There are enemies to be destroyed. Come. Come. Crowd out there, it's in a killing mood. We gotta get out of here. It's Simon, he's insane. He's created monsters. Kill them! Kill them! Because you have more power than she does, and she hates me. Kill her! Kill her! You mustn't listen to him. He's only using you. You must stop, Brenda. Please! Look at what he's done to you. Look at what he's done. He's destroyed you, Brenda. You must stop.
Thanks again, Rogers. We have your statement and your address. We'll be in touch. Well, I'm back. Well, I think we've all learned something from this. We've learned that, you know, swamp creatures are scary, something like that, you know. But I think most of all, these films are there to prepare us, after all. I don't know about you, but when I first walked out under the first lockdown, and there was no people there, there was hardly any people in the streets or any at all, you know, I was prepared. It wasn't as scary as it could have been because I'd seen monster films, because I'd seen zombie films, and I knew that on any large-scale attack or large-scale event, this could happen. And so, what we get through from horror films helps to prepare us for the world we live in, so that when challenges do come, really extreme ones, we already know what to do. My name's S. Rob. Thank you. This has been Magical Manifestation.